Hi, my name is Mitra Manesh. I'm a servant. I serve through teaching, coaching, consulting, or any other way that I can find to share what I know with those who want to know. And this Lights On podcast is one of those ways. It was created with consciousness and mindful living in heart. So join us as we travel through many roads of learning and transformation together. And if you enjoy our podcast, please give us feedback by rating us five star and share us with others if you think they may benefit from it. On behalf of my team, I thank you for your presence. This episode is about what to do when we have learned something, we have found something, we have an insight that we think our loved ones might benefit. And you know, this is quite common in past three decades. I've been asked this question so many times. How do we help our loved ones? And depending on what we really mean by that, The answer is different. But in this uh, episode, somebody asked this question in the class, and I thought that I would like to share it with you and see if this may serve you as well, because sooner or later, we will find ourselves in that position that our agenda, as healthy and as loving that it may be for our loved ones, may become just a little bit stronger than the love we have for them. And we may just go in as an activist wanting to improve and change their life and or help them to do the same. And uh, let's take a listen and see how we can do that in a more skillful and mindful way. So what do we do when our loved ones is going through a difficult time? How do we help them? The first thing that I want to suggest, and it may sound oxymoron, that you actually give up and let go of the agenda to help them in a sense of changing them, of course, not in the intentional way of wanting to help them. Because where I see this may become a trouble and problem in a relationship is that when Say I'm going through a difficult space or difficult phase of my life. And when my partner is rushing me to just get happy and resolve it and move forward, then I may have a different processing system. I may have a different way of dealing with it. I may see that partner as um, cold and unloving. So, Let go of your agenda of wanting to solve their problem and get them to a happy place and allow them to go through it as they wish. However, I want you to be there to assist them and be there to uh, support them. So here's the question that you ask. The first thing you ask is, how are you feeling? Let me hear your story and let me hear your feelings. Because that is the most uh, beautiful and valuable gift we can give to somebody who's going through a difficult time. And I'm not going to go into it. I've said it so many times that I think most people are unheard, both at home and at work. So allow your partner to be heard. Allow your partner to feel that you're there and you have patience for them. And that's the best gift you can give them at that stage. And then... There, there is the next stage. Without the first stage, going right to the solution and cutting through their emotions that they're going through because it's theirs, it's not yours, it's actually not helpful. It is an invitation that you can put. And I would say something like, if it was my partner, I would say, when you're ready, we can discuss some, some ideas that I have that might be helpful for you. And that's a very gentle way of saying that maybe that's an option and maybe when you're ready, that would be a good place to go to. But if I I have a stronger agenda, meaning if my agenda for going to solution is stronger than my love for my loved ones, it really would not be helpful. The third thing that you can do 
is to actually show them instead of tell them. Meaning, make sure that your frequency and your vibration does not fall. Because when we are dancing between energies, be it partners, be it lovers, be it colleagues, the question is, which energy is becoming stronger in that dance? So if I give up and I go to, oh my God, I can't help them. They seem to be, and you know what mind does? Mind eternizes. We're going to be unhappy for the rest of our lives because my partner is going through this. So when I drop my energy, now we have two so-called negative energy in the room or in life. So when I keep mine, and by that I don't mean you will be singing and dancing while she's crying, I'm suggesting that you hold on to your own energy and frequency that is higher and know that this is a temporary place. Trust that she's capable and know, express, share that you will always be there to assist. Hope this episode answered the question or two for you or provoked and inspired questions in you. I'm so grateful you showed up and listened up. Until the next time, be well and stay curious.